This trending protective style has been taking over social media and I just had to try it out. So today you'll be watching my first attempt at the Barbie ponytail using purple soft locks. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Brit. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany. And today I'm doing my hair, y'all. Anytime I do a protective style, I try to film it for y'all. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm too hype about this style. I'm too hype. When this style first came out, I was not a fan of it, y'all. I kept looking at it like, oh my gosh, I hope my clients don't come running to me for this. I don't think it's cute. But over time, looking at it, it has really started to grow on me. I haven't done this style at all with extensions. So me doing it on myself will be the first time. I've only ever done it with my clients with long locks. Like their hair, are they already have dreads in their hair. And I've just styled their dreads into this style. And... I'm hyped because I'm doing it with color. We just gonna see how this turns out. The name of the style is called a Barbie ponytail and I'll be doing the Barbie pony using soft locks. So the locks are already pre-made. I'll just be installing them. I'm just doing my hair and I thought y'all would like to watch. So let's get into what I'm using today. Um, the pre-made locks in my store, they did not have all purple. So this is a, a black to purple ombre which is cool because y'all know how soft locks go. Soft locks have to be wrapped with hair on top. So I figure it doesn't even matter that the tip of it is black because all of this is gonna be wrapped with purple hair anyway. You're not even gonna know this black is underneath, but it fades into this really pretty purple color, y'all. And as y'all know, I'm obsessed with the color purple. I have just never gone all the way with it. So I don't know what got into me today, trying something so new and so bold. But we're going to see. The good thing about knowing how to do your own hair is if you don't like it, you can take it out and do something else. So if I don't like it, I'll just take it out and do another style tomorrow. It's Labor Day weekend, y'all. It's super rainy here in Atlanta. So nothing's going on for me. We in the house. Um, and then I'm wrapping it with this um, brand called Lulu Tress. I've also used this on my channel before for a bohemian and goddess braids. Um, I've had a couple clients to get purple hair added at the end of their box braids. And I've used this hair on the end. So it's like a fluorescent purple that I'll be wrapping the top of the locks with. So this is the Lulu Tress hair. It has to be distressed. And then I'll wrap the top of the locks. It's not identical. This is a little bit, I don't want to say faded. It's just not as shiny or as in your face as the locks are but it's so okay. underneath this bonnet y'all i have already individually box braided my hair y'all should know the routine for soft locks underneath um every single lock you have to have your hair individually box braided so i did that already and now it's just time to install the locks wrap them up and pull them up in that ponytail y'all <laughs> So I have completed installing the locks and now it's time to pull it up and do the Barbie ponytail and then I'll show y'all how I do the barrels. But first y'all, I'm going to need a couple of products in my hair just to loosen up the tension. As you can imagine, and as you all know, if you wear soft locks, it's a lot of tension on your hair from individually box braiding your hair, sliding the lock through that box, then wrapping the lock. It's a lot going on. So typically when I do any protective style, I don't pull my hair up for the first three days and I advise my clients not to pull their hair up for the first few days. But because I really, really want this style and I only desire to wear it up, it can be worn down, half down, two um, ponytails, one ponytail, however you want it. I'm just a fan of it being all up with the two pieces coming down in the front. I'm immediately going to pull my hair up today, and because I'm going to do that, I'm about to oil my scalp real good. It's going to make it feel a little bit better. That oil running through your scalp is 
listen everything then i'm gonna go in with this new foam any type of mousse will work but i purchased this foam in the hair store the other day and i said it'll be perfect to try it for this style if i like it on myself then i'll definitely purchase it for my clients as well it's called tacky fingers braid foam it's for braids locks and twists it says it's meant to set and seal add shine it's a non-flaking product it's a fast dry and an anti-frizz so it's gonna be perfect because y'all know the hair that i wrapped the locks with had to be teased out it can get really frizzy so right now while it's wrapped real tight and fresh i'm gonna go ahead and lock in and seal that frizz down um with this tacky finger stuff i'm assuming it's gonna be a good product it was on the main display when i went into the hair store and normally when they do that it's a new popular item so let me just oil my scalp real quick and then we're gonna try to pull these lots up and go from there another good thing that i will mention and if you know you know is a hot steaming shower so once i get this the um style completed I'm going to take a hot shower. You get in a hot shower and don't put your head under the water, of course, with the new style in your hair. You're just going to get the water as hot as you can take, as hot as your body can bear, and let that steam just hit your scalp while you're in the shower. Just get as close to the faucet. Oh, I'm about out of this. I oiled my scalp after I braided it. When I box braided my natural hair, I oiled my scalp with this bottle. And then now I'm trying to go back in with the rest of it and I'm out, but... That should be enough. My scalp already feels better. Let me shake this up and try this foam, y'all. I'm just going to massage this foam in my hair. And while my hair is soaking this foam up, I'm going to just go ahead and get my rubber bands out. I'm going to show y'all what I got. Because I ended up, at first I was like, oh, I'm going to just use my black rubber bands. Um, because I have a bunch of them. I just brought a big tub of them. But then I went back in the hair store yesterday and I got this pack for $129. And it's a pack of like multicolored pinks, white, and purple. And I think this will really be nice for the barrels because when I wrap my hair up and rubber band it, I didn't think it would be cute with a black rubber band sitting on it. If for any reason you're able to see the rubber bands, I would like for it to all match and be uniform. So... Let me set these up. I should sit here and pick the purple ones out, but I'm too lazy to do that. So we're just going to pick them out one by one as I go. I'm going to just sit them up on my desk like this with the top open and just pick the purple ones out as I go. But let me get this hair up in a ponytail and I'll be back. Hey, y'all, my hair is up in a high ponytail. It should probably be a little tighter, but I'm tender-headed, so this is the best I could do to my liking with the pain that I could take. I left a few out one in the back and a couple on the sides and y'all will see that when the style comes together but right now let's get to the barreling part y'all it's still a little black showing in a few of my locks and quite a bit of them um because i ran out of the hair i should have got more than one pack but i thought that one pack would stretch i don't know why i didn't feel like going back to the store so yeah once i got down to about right here some of the locks you'll see some black in it but it's okay because hopefully the way i barrel it um, you won't even see it. So for the ones by my face, I think I want them to stop right about here. I definitely want to make sure the black part is covered. So I'm just going to fold it right there where I want it to fall. Probably a little bit lower. Yeah, right here. And I'm going to fold it where I want it to fall and start wrapping or twisting the hair around the lock going upward. And I'm going to twist as tight as I can to make the barrel as neat as I can. I'm going to wrap up. Make it as tight as you can because you don't want the barrel to be too bulky. And then go back down. And wrapping on top of the same area over and over is what thickens it up and makes it a barrel. And now that I have it on, I'm just going to go in with my purple rubber band and secure it. Y'all, I don't like how the purple rubber band is just too bright, so we're going to go with black. I believe black will look way better than a third color purple. It's already two different purples in my hair with the color I wrap my locks with and where the lock ends. And I'm trying to put these lavender rubber bands on and it's just not working out. So I'm going to put a black one on. 
Okay, y'all, this is what I'll be using to secure the locks now. I'm gonna dump them all out. So, yeah, let's just wrap this girl up with the black one. And yeah, the black looks 10 times better. Okay. I completed my two barrels in the front, so now I'm just repeating that same, those same steps for this one down here in the back. So now I'm just gonna rubber band that one up, and then we're gonna do the ponytail, and the method for the ponytail is a little different, so stay tuned. Now for the ponytail, I'm going to two strand twist. There's no way I'm about to sit here and do individual barrels like this on every single lock. I'm gonna two strand twist locks together and then do the barrel and so the barrels from the ponies hanging from the ponytail are going to be slightly thicker than the ones hanging because there's two locks going into the barrel versus just one the first one is done and i'm just going to repeat these same steps for the entire ponytail so i'm going to speed up the clips and we'll come back when it's all done for height so the ponytail can sit real good you're going to take Mm, three locks from the back from the side whichever you feel most comfortable with and just wrap them around the ponytail and it's gonna make the ponytail sit nice and high my hair I kind of just pushed it over to the side the barrels came out really nice I absolutely love the way I do barrels if I must say so myself again this is a technique that I use all the time on my clients who actually have real locks and not the extensions for this to be my first time doing them with the soft lock extensions I do still like them I just wish I would have been a little more patient as far as finding purple hair that matched meaning that when I went to my local beauty supply store and they had the locks that were the purple that I wanted, but the wrapping hair was more dull, I should have either went on Amazon and ordered something more fluorescent or shopped around in a few more stores. But I just came home with what I had and this is what I ended up with. So the roots are that dull color. And then my locks are this pretty bright purple. The black is what's sending me too. I got really lazy. And once I start getting going, once I get going on my hair, I don't like to really stop. I like to work through it for the most part. So I didn't want to get up and go to the store to get more hair when I ran out of this dull hair. For one, I wasn't crazy about it. And two, I was just like, I don't feel like getting up. So I settled for what I had. I'm like, uh, it's a lot going on. But I think it'll do. Maybe tomorrow I'll probably close the video out once I put on clothes and kind of dress them up with earrings, a lash. Once I, once I get my eyebrows done and kind of pull the look together, it may look a little better. It might be the lighting in my room, this ring light. So I know the sun gonna do it way worse. But the style itself is cute. Trying something like this for the first time, I just should have went all black or got the same color all the way around. But we gonna rock with it. It doesn't look horrible. So yeah, I'm gonna do my baby hairs, tie this hair up, and we'll come back tomorrow. I headed out for lunch the next day and once I put on clothes the style really started to grow on me. I tried a few different styles before leaving the house and one of my favorites was the high bun with the barrels coming towards my face. This style is new and something very different for me so it's taking some getting used to but overall I like it. Share your thoughts with me down below. I love you all and see you in the next video.